Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let's do some uh, coil testing. I'm gonna go fast because this is gonna might take a few more minutes. So this is what we're doing. We're going round and round at 200 RPM. I have 20 coils at 100 turns using 18 gauge wire. I have a 32 one disc of 32 magnets and 48 one inch half and half. Each coil, it's giving me right now. 1.35 AC. If you look down there, that's the AC for each coil. All right. So, and some of them will give me a little bit more because obviously a little bit lousy setup. It's not in resin, so it's it's going to move around, but. An average of 1.35 AC. So each phase will give me 5.1 AC. So let's check this one out. Um, let's 5.1 whatever to here. That's another phase. It's another phase. Another phase. So all five phases are giving me one five point one. So the coils are connected correctly. You know, um, everything seems to be making sense because they're all, all the phases separately are giving me the same AC voltage so but the connections for the coils in each phase are connected like so so S for start E for end so um, end to end start to start end to end and then that's how it's actually connected the first the first start is to the neutral point which is, uh, you can't see it, but it's um, right here, all five connected like that. And um, so the result is 5.1 AC voltage. Now the rectifications. In total, a plus B plus C plus D plus E is giving me 9 volts. And that's what this gauge is reading. I hope to God you can see it. Because I'm not going to do this again. So that's what that's giving me. So now I know you guys will be interested to see what this gibberish is. Well, I rectified. A plus E and recognize that gives me the most voltage and then B and E gives me less and less and less so it gradually goes down and it has to do with something that Steve mentioned here but anyway I'm sure you'll explain that so then I went to A plus D 6 B plus D and so on when I got to B plus C it gives me 1.4 volt DC. Let me show you. So, we'll take all this. We'll only leave D right now. stupid me I should have done the other way around okay so let's take them all off and just leave phase D connected which is right here okay we'll start with the uh, A What's it going to give me now? 
Seven point six seven. Seven point six. Do you see it? You better see it. Okay. So I take this sucker away and I still go to B. Gives me six point five three. And I'm gonna keep going quick, you guys follow. So this will be C. Drops. And when I get to C and D it will be two point two four, which is the lowest. Then I went to uh, took E away. And I started with D right here. So A plus D right here. And then D. And so on. But when I got to B and C to rectify those two. B and this is C. Oh, there's nothing there because it's this one reads three volts and above. So there's nothing wrong with the red like dish. They both have power. But. So, now some of you are saying when I put the, the other disc on top, it should uh, increase at least by double. And that's uh, Sean, I guess. Um, I don't know, give me your thoughts and give me the actual formula. I don't want to look all over the net to figure out why these are dropping the way they're dropping. I know there's relation to the... Uh... But anyway, I'll leave it at that.